Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Very Connected podcast. And thank you for being a little patient with us. It took us a few minutes to get live here. And today we're being joined by Kathy Hudson, and she's going to be talking about Ninja Creamery. Creamy. And we're going to be sharing all kinds of recipes and all kinds of ideas. And if you're joining us live, say hello. Let us know you're here. Let us know where you're from. And I want to do a kind of a more formal introduction to Kathy, too. Kathy, I met Kathy through a support group through her hospital and she was always so involved. I was doing, I guess I was kind of doing support groups for your facility. I think it was for a two-year period, like every mm -hmm. month for a two-year period. Mm -hmm. And she was, her and her husband both were always on the calls and always just part of the conversation. And she always was bringing up the Ninji Creamy and how many different recipes. And so I thought, you know what, this is a perfect recipe. So, I mean, perfect idea for doing here on on our live event and we actually had it scheduled a couple times but Kathy's a busy woman like she is busy <laughs> and so we, we this is the perfect timing um and Kathy I mean really right now Kathy is she's well she's post-op gastric bypass surgery from July of 2018 she has a background in nursing um, she worked long-term emergency department, outpatient surgery, recovery room for an orthopedic surgery unit, and she volunteers twice a week for Mending Souls, which provides sewn items to other local organizations. She lives in T Tuscan, Arizona. Tucson. Her ho hobbies include sewing, quilting, aerobics, um, off-road, Frody and her Pol Polaris Ranger, and traveling, because you've been doing a lot of traveling this year, mm -hmm. right, Kathy? <laughs> yes, I have. Yeah. Yep. So take it from there. While while you're doing that, I'm going to mute myself for a second. I'm going to get on our Facebook page <laughs> and just see where we're at there. Let them know a little bit more about you and your journey and your experiences. Why you chose the ninja? Why why it's part of your life now? Well, hi there. Thank you for that introduction. Hey, everybody. It's great to see so many people on here. Um, I'm excited to do this. And and uh, I am not from Tuscan, but I'm from Tucson, Arizona. <laughs> it, not Never been to Italy yet, but uh, 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 from Tucson. And, uh, you know, I, uh, pre, uh, it, as you all know, both pre and post op uh, bariatric meals and eating is is a little difficult at times and and you have to get a little creative with what you do and and how you fix things and and um, I was reading somewhere about a, a ninja creamy and and uh, um, oh a friend of mine here uh, I live in a fifty five and over RV uh, resort and she has ninja everything and uh, I. She doesn't have the creamy, but I was looking at all the ninja things and saw it. And I thought, you know what? I bet you could do some uh, high protein, low fat uh, ice creams with that because, you know, who doesn't like ice cream? And, you know, Brenda said that, you know, we've had to to uh, reschedule this several times. Well, now, you know, God does great things because now is the perfect time for this because, you know, it's summer and we all need something cold. So this is going to, uh, I, I hope you enjoy this and and please, there's plenty of time for you all to to talk and we're going to, uh, I'm going to show you in real time how one works because it's so easy to do. So that's all I have, Brenda. <laughs> well, it is perfect timing. I was thinking that whenever I did a little promotional video for this, I'm like, you know what, really, what better time? It's just the beginning of summer and ideas and Everybody kind of craves, I think, a little bit of coolness, you know, whenever the, the summer's starting and you're starting to feel those hot sun rays. So, yeah, Dana says God do everything perfect in his time. So it is true. And I say one question I did have before the event um, is, can these recipes be used without a creamy? So I don't know. We didn't really talk about that much beforehand, but. I, you, there are probably ways that you could, as in maybe freezing them. And if you have a, a um, blender or a food processor, something like that, you may be able to, but um, the, the price of the creamy is so well worth uh, the, the money you save, the calories you save and the enjoyment you have of, 
<laughs> uh, of it. Uh, you know, you have birthdays coming up, you have Christmas, or you have the combo of the two, or you just have a be good to me day that uh, uh, you can get it. I want to introduce my friend Debbie right here. Hi. Debbie had uh, uh, guest, um, the sleeve. she had the sleeve done, what, about 13 or so years ago, and I have made her a convert to not convict convert to uh to the ninja creamy as well and and uh she's going to be my helper later on when when we go live with the um showing you how it works uh, uh in, per, in in real time so i'm I, and I, kathy i did uh, before you say some i'm so sorry i didn't mean to interrupt you i wanted to just mention too i know one of our recipes that i'm going to be sharing towards the end of this is taking the recipe and putting it into ice cube trays and then blending it. So that might be something with this. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead. Okay. Um, we ready to share my screen? Absolutely. Okay. Let me go down to the bottom here and um, are you seeing my screen? Not yet. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure how that... Uh-oh, what did I do? Oh, gosh. Am I still there? Yes, we okay. still see you. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. Share... You have you have it, don't you, Brenda? Yeah. Do you want me to share my screen? Sure. Yeah. I'm not okay. sure why this isn't sharing, but well, I can definitely do that. Okay. Oh, wait, let me try this. Okay. Um, do you have my screen? I have a partial for whatever crazy reason it's showing just the very top of your there we go. Now we have it. Okay. Okay, do you see this little thing in the side over here of people of us? No. no. Okay. I just see I just see your screen. Okay, awesome. Well, um we're going to talk about being ninjas and and you know when we think about ninjas, um what what do y'all think a, a ninja is? What are your thoughts? Just anybody just pipe up. Okay, so guys, let us know what your thoughts are. What is a ninja? And if you're on Facebook, please feel free to answer as well. Okay, Jamie says she can't see anything, but I think, I bet she can see it now. I bet she can see it now. All right, I'm trying to get this so it's... Oop. Jamie, let us know if you can see now. We have um, Dana saying a warrior, an expert. Celeste says a cool appliance and a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Awesome. Okay. You know, you know, you think about that and, and you think, uh, you know, another uh, another thought is that uh, in early Japanese history, it was it's one who sneaks who sneaks and, and it's somebody who's trained in self-defense. And and if we think about that. We um, uh, we are defending ourselves, and sometimes we do have to be sneaky with what we do. And and you know, if we think about today's cultural perception, uh, we still are considered you know the ninja is still considered sneaky. And with regard to our our surgeries, you know, we are being self uh, uh, training ourselves in in self defense for our plan to follow our, our eating plan. And with the Ninja Creamy, we don't really need to be that sneaky anymore. We just need to, you know, be, uh, defend ourselves with, with great uh, food and additions. So with that, I'm going to introduce the Ninja Creamy. And I don't know, uh, I, I do have in little tiny letters there, disclaimers, and I am receiving no compensation whatsoever <laughs> from ProCare Health from uh, Ninja Creamy itself or the Ninja or any of the products from Walmart, from, from Fry's, Kroger's, any of the places that, that I'm going to show you um, 
uh, things that I use later on. So I just want to say that the Ninja Creamy is probably one of the best inventions ever for helping uh, enhance our lives. And, and especially now that it's summertime, it's really simple. It's easy to use, very user-friendly. Uh, you you can't really go wrong with it. There's always something that you can can do to uh, to um, troubleshoot to to uh, get it to to work perfect for you. There are lots of resources to rely on for that, and and we'll talk about those a little bit later. It's fairly economical, and when I say fairly economical, the the initial outlay of of cost for the <clears throat> excuse me for the Ninja Creamy uh, Creamy is. Uh, maybe a little bit high for the cost of it, but mine was a little bit higher because I wanted the red one uh, because my kid <laughs> is red. But if you're okay doing the black one, it's a little bit cheaper for that. And and uh, it it sits on the countertop. It's uh, pretty small. It's it's about the size of a, of a coffee maker, a little bit taller, but about the size of a coffee maker. And most, and, and most importantly of all, it is bariatric friendly. It makes really, really delicious high protein, low sugar ice cream. It makes sorbet, milkshakes, gelato, smoothies, you know, all of that or any mixture of that. And with that, what's not to like? <laughs> okay, so we will get into exactly what it is. And this is what it looks like. This is my Ninja Creamy sitting in my kitchen. And you'll see right here beside it, one of my favorite tools is a little immersion blender. And I will uh, talk about how I use that a little bit later too, because sometimes you do need a little immersion blender to help with the recipes. So we're going to look at the pieces and parts of the Ninja uh, Creamy. This is the on the left-hand side here. Can you see my arrow? I can. Kathy, one other, one quick question here. Uh -huh. um, somebody's asking, is it loud? And uh, how about the cost? The cost is what was yours, Debbie? Um, I got mine around Christmas time, and it was one hundred and sixty nine dollars. One hundred and sixty nine dollars. Debbie got hers around Christmas time. She did get the black one. So <laughs> if you want the color, <laughs> it'll be probably another twenty thirty dollars for the color. But you know what? It fits my kit. It fits my kitchen. I'm retired. I I uh, I deserve it. I want to do what I want. So <laughs> and uh, so uh, the cost I think is is very doable. And what was the other part of that question? Um, is it loud? Oh, you'll see later. It is a little bit loud. And that is one of the uh, complaints. If you look at reviews online, and I, I looked at a lot of reviews beforehand, and people did complain of the noise, but it's only for like two minutes. And, you know, here's my thought, you know, if if your husband, significant other or kids or somebody's talking to you, just turn on your Ninja Creamy. And uh, and and you don't have to listen to them for two minutes. You get two minutes of of freedom from that. So yes, and you'll see later on when we when we work it, you'll see how loud it is. So good questions, good questions. So this is the front of my nin my Ninja Creamy, and you'll see that it's got a start button and respin, and and we'll go over all those a little bit later. And this is underneath. This right here is underneath that. That's where you, this piece right here, that little white piece is, it comes down and that's what makes it spin uh, to, to make your creamy, your, um, your um, um, what do I call that? Your little bucket here uh, will fit right into here. It's got a plastic container here that you will put your other plastic containers in and I'll show you those in just a minute. And you'll see down here, these little holes that holds your pl past plastic container in place because it's got little uh, little legs on the bottom. And one of those little legs fits in each one of those. And that holds that still in there while this blade goes around and, and lowers, uh, it'll lower in there to blend it all up for you. And there's the top of the lid this little white thing right here that you saw goes down in here and it turns this blade. This blade will also come out for easy cleaning. The lid itself is easily cleaned. Um, and um, I don't put mine in the, well, you can put it in the dishwasher. I don't put the lid itself in the dishwasher. I clean it uh, myself in, in the sink, but you can put this part, you can put the other canisters in the dishwasher and you can put this this blade in the dishwasher as well. So those are the pieces and parts of it. There's not a whole lot uh, to it. There's Kathy, some... there's a 
there's a quick question too uh -huh. is about the freezer space it says somebody saying makes me not want to get it because of the freezer space so i guess my question is is what part do you have to put in the freezer I'm going to show you that in real life later on too. Okay. It, uh, and it depends on how the canisters are about two, two, cups maybe. two, three cups. They're about this big and about this tall. And I'll, you want to grab one out of the freezer? Um, I'll have Deb grab one out of the freezer and I, uh, and I'll show you what, and, and they stack really well as well. Uh, so um, here it is. There's how big it is. Here's an ink pen beside it. Does that help? Yeah, that does. Thank you. Yeah. So they they do fit in the freezer really well. You know, I had a, a, a KitchenAid mixer, and those things were like this big that you had to put in the freezer. But these are small. And I think your creamy will come with two of them. Two uh -huh. of the canisters, one or two, but you'll want to go ahead and order several more while you're ordering uh, because you will use them. Uh, so did that, I, did that answer the question? I think. Yes. Yeah, so for those who will be listening to the replay on the podcast portion, they're not going to be able to see. So probably about six inches tall and maybe three, four inches wide. Would you say? Probably four inches wide. Yeah. Okay. A uh, diameter. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so you'll start with just a real simple recipe. And I like to use uh, my my preferred uh, uh, protein drink is the Premier Protein. You can also use the powdered protein powder, which I also uh, use that and I mix it. I, I don't use water-based um, things in these recipes. Uh, I will use fruit juice, but we'll talk about that a little bit later too. But if you use protein powder, just mix it with some milk, almond milk, um, or if you use a, a protein drink, just use your regular protein drink. <clears throat> you just pour that protein drink into the canister up to the line, uh, put the lid on it, stick it in your freezer and wait for 24 hours, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. So you start with just simple things like this. You can also use other things. Oh my gosh, look at all this. Um, you can use, I, I use regular milk. I love the Fairlife milk and you don't have to use high fat milk. You don't have to use half and half or full cream. Um, I use skim milk and things turn out just really well. I also use almond milk. You can use um, uh, crushed pineapple. All you do is you take that crushed pineapple, you just dump the whole thing into the into the um, canister, freeze it, and you've got a, a pineapple sorbet the next day. Uh, you can also add flavorings. You can add um, jello pudding, and I use the fat-free. You can use some unflavored gelatin kind of as a, an emulsifier or a, like a thickener. You can use some xanthan gum. You would have to experiment with that a little bit, but remember if you do use xanthan gum, a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> Uh, you can add in peanut butter. You can use pumpkin. I've made a pumpkin pie. Um, I, I just use pumpkin and skim milk and some spice, some pumpkin pie spice. Uh, and uh, then I freeze it. I mix it up in the in the creamy, and then I will. Uh, you can add in some things that we'll talk about later. But I add in some uh, animal crackers. And it's like those animal crackers kind of taste like the crust of the pumpkin pie. So it just really tastes like pumpkin pie. Some other things that you can use to add in, if you like chocolate and different kinds of, of chocolate flavors, Lily's brand has great uh, chocolate flavors. And they're with the other uh, butterscotch and chocolate and all those white chocolate morsels and all those. But they're usually on the top shelf there. But Lily's brand, I love those for add-ins. Um, so, uh, I'm also, I have an addiction to, um, Jordan simple syrups, as you can see, this is my, and I've got even more since then, <laughs> but you can add these as flavor as well. They have chai, there's butter pecan, my gosh, there's uh, salted caramel, Irish cream, all kinds of, uh, Jordan syrups. If you have 
uh, where you live, if you if you have a TJ Maxx or a Beals or um, Marshalls, any of those stores, a lot of times they'll have those much cheaper than if you buy them online. But you can go to Jordan Simple Syrups and and order online as well. So I I have done both, but they they are wonderful. They're all uh, you can also get margarita flavor. Um, uh, like a, a peach margarita or a margarita flavor. And that makes a really good sorbet as well. And I will also mix those with one of the uh, shakes. Uh, I'm sorry, one of the um, um, protein shakes as well, just for some flavoring. So if you have an addiction to things like this, you're okay. You're all right. So some other- Hi, Kathy. Uh-huh. I'm so, sorry for interrupting you. There was oh, a question yeah. regarding the Jordan Simple Syrup and also another question. What type of sugar do they use? Do you happen to know? I'll find out. Oops. Did you see my tequila and rum up there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it uses uh, sucralose. Okay. Let me try another one. Here's one. Here's a churro flavor. Um, water, natural and artificial flavor, sucralose, lactic acid, caramel color, uh, acid sulfame, potassium, natural flavors, sodium benzoate as a preservative, potassium sorbate as a preservative, and xanthan gum. So. There's a churro. Does that help? Yes. And I think somebody was wanting clarification on, I don't see the message anymore, but there was a question about dishwasher too. You said that you can, you would recommend just washing them by hand except for the, the um, uh, blade. And the blade washes just easily as well in, in warm soapy water. It's just as easy to wash everything in the sink. But you can put the canisters and the canister lids in the top shelf of the dishwasher. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So those are the simple syrups that I that I use for uh, flavoring. So there's all kinds of other things that you can use to to make uh, any of the the things that the the creamy makes. You can use cottage cheese, cream cheese, yogurt. You can use almond milk, soy milk, oat milk, sugar-free jello for flavoring or unflavored gelatin. We talked about that. Peanut butter or even PB2, uh, which is a, a, a peanut butter powder that you can mix in. And I've, I've done that as well. One of the things that I do also as an add-in is I will take protein bars and I'll cut them up into little pieces and I'll add them to that, I'll use cookies or crackers. And, you know, with those, you can uh, find bariatric friendly or keto uh, friendly um, cookies and crackers. And I'll show you some of those in just a minute. You can also use fresh fruits. You can, you know, don't, uh, don't forget about vegetables or herbs. Um, uh, maybe a, a, a cucumber melon um, or a watermelon sorbet. So what are some other ideas that you might have, you all have? Uh, for ingredients that you might like. Yeah, feel free guys to comment and I'll kind of watch here to see if we have okay. any other ideas. Okay, we'll just move on then. So I'm just going to take a look at what's in my freezer. This one up here looks like it was chocolate peanut butter right there. It's chocolate peanut butter. And what I do is there's a picture of the canister, and that's what it looks like when it's frozen. And what I do is I put, just put a piece of scotch tape on the top, and I write on it what's in it so that if I like it, I know what to do next time. And then here is pineapple, uh, plain gel... Uh, Plain, oops, oh, Greek yogurt and plain gelatin, I think. And here was an eggnog, a nutmeg, and some unflavored gelatin. The eggnog, oh my gosh, it is amazing. Um, I don't know if you can find it this time of year, but around Christmas time, it is a fave. Uh, and then this one, I was just playing around. So it's kind of a Black Forest chocolate. I probably used a 
a, 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 a chocolate protein shake and added some uh, cherries, frozen cherries to it. So there's just all possibilities. But when I when I made the PowerPoint, that's what was in my freezer. Right now I have different stuff in my freezer and you'll see that in just a little bit. So Kathy, here's some of the comments. Lemon and blueberry, cheesecake pudding mix. We also has, Sarah says on Facebook, has a creamy and she her daughter has a creamy and made watermelon sorbet. Mm -hmm. And then also I want to ask you, do you, can you purchase extra containers like that or does there more than one that comes with it? Um, I think mine came with two. Mine yeah, came with two. Debbie's came with two as well. And then I ordered a set of four. So I have six. And I usually have six in the freezer at any one time. <laughs> so when one's empty, I fill it with something just to be creative. Those were all, I. what was the lemon blueberry? Is that what it? Um, lemon, lemon and blueberry cheesecake pudding mix. And then a watermelon, watermelon sorbet. Oh yeah, I I've tried the watermelon sorbet and 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 a, a can, um, honeydew would be good too. Maybe a, a, a honeydew melon and a cucumber or something like that. Throw in some some herbs. It's it, it's just different, but it's you know it'd kind of be a salad, wouldn't it, for lunch? Mm. <laughs> so we can call it whatever we want, right? <laughs> um, so uh, okay, so what would you use as a base? Are there anything else that you can think of that you would use as a base? Um, I think I've covered most things. It really doesn't matter. Um, you know, and then with all of that, decide, do you want an ice cream? Do you want a sorbet, gelato, a milkshake, a smoothie? Um, it's all possible with it. So here's how you do it. You just pour your liquid into the into the container you might need an immersion blender when I when I mix the pumpkin and the um, milk, uh, the protein uh, drink together, protein uh, shake together. I use my little immersion blender and then I pour it into the container. And I'll also add the spices then to like the pumpkin pie spice and just use that with the immersion blender. Pour it into the container and uh, the canister. It's like I said, it's better not to use a water base, but you can use the fruit juice. Debbie's husband pre likes to just put mandarin, uh, oranges. mandarin oranges with the juice in there. She usually keeps out a little bit of the juice to add later to, and you'll see why in a little bit later, but fruit juice works okay. Um, it's more of a gelato, but it's still absolutely wonderful. Then you just put the lid on the container and then label it like you saw in that in that previous um, uh, slide and then put it in the freezer and then you wait 24 hours you wait keep watching the clock make sure it's 24 hours <laughs> <laughs> um, then you just remove it from the freezer you move, remove the lid put it in the microwave for about 20 seconds or so and or run it under run the container the edges of the container under hot water and that loosens the ingredients from the sides a little bit then you just put it into that holder that had the handle on it attach the top, lock it in place, and then put it in the in the in the Ninja Creamy machine itself. Press whatever button you want, and then uh, you wait. You may need to add a little bit more milk, and there's a respin button on there, and we'll show you all those. And then for add-ins, after you've respin, after you've made it or you've had to respin it, I do have to respin most of the time. Sometimes I'll have to respin it twice, but it's not a big deal. You just add a little bit more uh, uh, liquid to it, just respin it. Um, if you want to make add-ins, then you just put a little hole in the center with a spoon, add your goodies, whatever it is, put the lid back on, uh, press mix in, and it it goes a little bit slower. And then you remove it from this machine and and uh, get your spoon out and try it just to make sure nobody's going to die from what you made, you know. <laughs> so, um, and I have down there maybe share it with others. So it's so <laughs> easy, easy, easy. So there's the, the process for it. And this is uh, 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 me making a uh, milkshake. And this was, I used that chocolate peanut butter container that I had in the freezer. This was the first spin and I spun it on ice cream and you can see how it kind of has a powdery look to it. And that's very normal for the first spin. And then after that first spin, I add a tablespoon or so of milk or, or you know, if I've used, um, if I've used the protein shake in there, 
I uh, can still add milk to it. I don't need to add protein shake. And then you just press respin, and then it'll come out more creamy like this. Uh, a lot of, like I said, a lot of recipes say use whole milk. I use skim milk in everything, um, just because I don't need those those extra calories. And then, um, you know, a lot of uh, if you're looking at Ninja Creamy recipes online somewhere. They'll say use store-bought ice cream as the base. Uh, I say hooey to that. Um, choose your own. Uh, use your own ice cream. Um, add about a half a cup of milk to it then. Don't go past. There's a line in there, and I'll show you that line on one of the, and you can see the line right about there. And then put it back on the machine and press milkshake. And then you can add other ingredients. And there's one. Uh, here's one of the protein. I love these protein bars. They are um, uh, probably one of the best ones that I've seen. If you look at a at something with protein in it, and this is just a little tidbit that I learned. I don't know whether it was from you, Brenda, but I think it was on one of the, the bariatric things that I was uh, a member of. If you look at the amount of protein, and let's say this bar has 15 grams of protein in it, then you look at the number of calories. If the num, uh, let's say it has 150 calories, 150 calories, 15 grams of protein, add a zero to that 15 grams of protein, that's 150. Those two match up pretty well. That's an excellent, excellent source of protein. A lot of the protein bars that you see in the in the grocery will say, oh, we've got seven grams of protein in this bar and it's 300 calories. If you add a zero to that seven, that makes 70 versus 300 calories. That's a pretty poor source of protein for you. So the closer those two are, the better. So just a little tidbit there. Um, and then, um, so I'll use sometimes cut up uh, 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 protein bar, or there's some little, oops, some little um, wafers there. Uh, and sometimes I'll use, um, graham crackers or uh, animal crackers, things like that as an add-in. So then you hey, just- Hey, Kathy. Uh-huh. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, there was a couple questions. I can uh -huh. wait if if need be. That's okay. Um, somebody asked, so, so I have three questions basically. So okay. like peanut butter, if you add that, should you add it after you have it in the freezer and spun it twice? spun it twice, or would you add it with your initial ingredients? You can add it anytime you want, anytime okay. at all. I would probably use my immersion blender, or if you just want to use a regular blender or mixer or something like that, but the immersion blender, it's got its own little container there that just fits down in really well. Um, or you can add it as a mix in later. It doesn't really matter. The and the immersion blender was separate, right? That was a separate Immersion purchase. blender is separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it does not come with it. <laughs> Okay. And, and then as well. <laughs> what was that? It's also red. Okay. Red well, it looked color. like it matched. It does. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. The next question, actually there's four now. Can you make mocktails in it? I don't know, but if you go on to Pinterest and you put in Ninja Creamy mocktails, I'll bet somebody has. Okay. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to try that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, if it's chunky, it says, okay, but if it's chunky, like chocolate, you do it later. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Anything like this, you'll see that uh, that's perfect segue right here. You'll see that I crunched up, that I cut up that protein bar and I, I put a little hole in the middle and I, uh, you put a little hole in the middle put that in, put it back into the machine and push mix in. And that blade goes down and mixes it in slowly. So you can okay. see that, that it's mixing in. And then the only other question right now is, what is the differences between the different things that you said? Is it just a consistency thing like the milkshake, the gelato, the... Um, yeah, forgot the milkshake what all you'll, you'll see here is the finished milkshake. Uh, chocolate peanut butter milkshake 
in a wine glass, <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll see it's more of a, a soft milkshakey consistency. And it's because we added that much, we added about a half a cup of milk. You can see right here is it says max fill line right there, right there. Um, and that's how, um, so the, the milkshake is milkshakey. The sorbet is more of a, um, oh, how do I want to say that? It's more of a, an icy kind of Italian thing. Italian ice. Like Italian ice. Yeah. Uh, and then the ice cream itself is more creamy. Creamy. Yeah. Okay. And the gelato, I've really not done gelato, but I think it's more of a, even more creamier than ice cream, but I'm, I'm not sure about that. I've not, I've not pushed that button yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Any other questions? Those are great questions. Um, somebody just said that looks delicious, but I don't see any more questions. Okay. It was delicious. <laughs> and, and I was able to get protein in with it, even with the deliciousness. Okay. And that's all there is to it. You know, there's some resources I want to talk about. The Ninja Creamy website. There are Facebook groups, Pinterest, of course. You can find tons of things on Pinterest. And then um, just website searches for recipes. Just put in Ninja Creamy uh, re recipes. And, and um, you know, um, any recipes that you find that say use whole cream or, or whipping cream or whatever, just know that you don't have to use that. You can, you can substitute bariatric friendly friendly things uh, in making your ice cream. And I'm sure it, it, it probably is not as, um, to me, it just gives me a little in my throat when I have that much sweetness and cream. And I just, I just prefer <laughs> uh, using the, the protein shakes and the lower fat milks and stuff, but, but, um, 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 Try it different ways, experiment with it a little bit. And um, and I have here, I don't have any favorite recipes. I like them all. I, I'm all the time playing with different different recipes, different ingredients. And then I'm all the time have one of my favorites in the in the refrigerator. And best of all, I've got on here, it can be used during almost all of the bariatric surgery stages, both pre and post. Um, and, but of course, not the clear liquid stage, obviously. So that would just, you know, unless you want to make a broth one, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that would be good. But <laughs> um, so not that not the clear liquid stage. So, um, so that's, that's really all it is. It's so simple. Any comments, questions, concerns about any of that? I don't see anything right now, Kathy, but we'll leave the form open. If anybody does have anything, please feel free to continue to post. Okay. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to quit sharing my screen. Thank you all for listening, but don't go away. There's more. Um, we're going to go live to the real thing here. And how do I get rid of my share here? Um, there should be a button that says... I can stop it for you if you can't find it, Kathy. All right. Um, I don't see it. Um, oh, there's stop share. Got it. There. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to take you all along with me over to my Ninja Creamy. Can you see all that? There's my Ninja Creamy. Debbie, you want to hold that? Can you see that okay? Yes. My Ninja Creamy. That's the container. You push this button here. That comes off. There's the blade. To remove the blade, you push this to the side. The blade comes out. And there are, um, to, to clean it, there are a couple, there's a hole right here and a hole right down here. I just put the kitchen sink water through here and just let it clean this area out in here and it'll drip out down through there, okay? You see that little hole right there? 
put it toward there. You can see it. And then there's that little hole on the other side. Just hold that under the sink. And then to put this in, you just push that and that clicks in there and you've got it. So here's my immersion blender that I love. Um, it just sits out here all the time. All kinds of fun stuff here. We've got, I'm trying to make sure you can, um, this is some Premier Protein um, uh, hot chocolate for nighttime. I've got my uh, protein powders. I've got another hot chocolate right over here that I like. Um, there's my animal crackers. I've got some little protein powders. I've got some little um, vanilla wafers. Uh, there's my, my fulfill bars. And here on the back, here's what I wanna show you. This has 160 calories, 160 calories, and the protein is 15 grams of protein. So take 15, add a zero to it, 150, match that up to the calories, 150 versus 160, excellent source of protein, okay? Uh, same, we'll do this one too. This has 30 grams of protein at a zero, 300 versus 160 calories, really good source of protein, okay? So that's how you do that. I've got my protein shakes here. I've got some uh, peach slices here. I've got crushed pineapple. Um, there's mandarin oranges and there's my pumpkin, you know, and here is a little squash. You know, maybe I want to cut that up, cook it, mash it up and put it in there. There's some peanut butter. There's my hot chocolate. I've got some ginger snaps here is for like an add in. And I've got um, some pecans, some walnuts back there. And here are a bunch of Lily's baking chips. There's some white chocolate. And these have stevia in them. There's some pumpkin spice. Those only come out at a certain time. Um, I guess I have a Lily's problem too, huh? Uh, <laughs> chocolate cinnamon, uh, chocolate mint, white chocolate, uh, butterscotch, <laughs> and another chocolate mint, and chocolate salted caramel. Wow. So <laughs> they come in all flavors. The one thing I want to say too is that oh, and I've got some little ginger snaps here. These are these are really good, and some some raisins. If you want to, if you make your um, ice cream and you want to put some in a little cup, go ahead and do that. Put it back in your freezer, and then take it out and just let it sit out for a little bit, and it's usually pretty good, just like that. So let's come over here and let's look and see what's in my freezer. <laughs> Oh, we've got, see how they fit in there? Okay. And you can stack them like that. So they do really take up less, less room and that door will still close. So let's make eggnog, Debbie. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> okay. Let's do an eggnog. Okay. And this simply is just some eggnog. So I'm going to take the lid off. And you'll see it's got a maximum fill line right here. And so I didn't fill that. I'm gonna show you the top of it. You'll see it has kind of a, um, a little hump on it and that's okay. They really don't want something that's uneven there because it'll mess up your blade. But if you set these flat in your um, uh, freezer, that'll work. So I'm gonna uh, let you just look at some things over here while I put this in the microwave real quick. 20 seconds. So here's some more of the skinny mixes, uh, peanut butter cup. I've got a butter toffee and Irish cream. Oh, look, here's another mix in. It's the real thing. You know, or if you're making ice cream and you just pour a little bit of that over the top, no big deal. So let me see how this is going. And I'm just going to pour it under under some hot water as well hot water in here and when you when you put it under the hot water you know in tucson in the summer we never there's no such thing as cold water in tucson in the summer 
it's always hot. So, okay, so I did that. See on the bottom here, those little legs, those fit into, we'll go back over here. Those fit into there, those little holes in here. So you just put that in there. You put the lid on, close the lid, fits in there. You turn it, here's that little, here's that little thing right there that will turn the, here we go. All right, uh, wait. There we go, it clicks in there. And I'm gonna push ice cream right here. Now here's how you can tell how noisy it is. Oh, turn it on and then, <laughs> and then push ice cream. And if you look down here, you'll see that that's that. Can you hear me still? Yes. Can you, yeah. You can see that that blade is now going down in there. I'm going to go a little bit. So it's about right here, going down. And up here, it shows you, you've got uh, one, you've got four of these. It shows you how, how you're coming along. We've got one more to go. You can see here at the bottom, but it's at the bottom. Now it's gonna make its way back up to the top. Got my milk ready because I know I'm probably going to need it. Okay. And then there's a little button over here on the side. If you can see it, you push that button, loosens it, you bring it out, you push this button, turn the lid, and you can see, oh my gosh, you can see it's just, it's pretty hard right here. Um, and you could eat it just like that. But wait, let me see. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna show you just adding a little bit more. Let's say that was a little bit um, powdery. I'm just gonna add a little bit of milk, just a tad. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> and put this back in here. There we go. And right here is the respin button. Right here. So we're going to respin it, and it'll be even creamier this next time. So one of the things that These are the best ginger cookies in the world, uh, ginger snaps in the world. I know it's it's um, backwards to you. I get them at the dollar, dollar Tree. They're usually on the bottom shelf. And I will say they are a very poor source of protein, very poor source of protein, but that's not why we use them. So we're gonna add a little bit of ginger snaps here. Almost done. So then we come over to this little button, push the button, pull it out, push this button. Oh my, look how creamy that is now. Much better. So I'm gonna mix in, just for fun, some ginger snaps, just so you see the whole thing. I'm just making a little hole in the middle. 
And see, this is why that you don't want to go past that maximum fill level because you can see how full it is because it's it's added some uh, moisture to it. So I'm just going to take cookie and break it up. I think this is going to be pretty good. It'll taste like a eggnog pie or something. Ginger. 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 Yeah. We'll just do two. Okay, so, whoops. My dog, Cheyenne, I'll get that in a minute. Oh, lid goes back on. Goes back in there, back up. And see right here, it says mix in. And you can see how much slower it is just kind of mixing that in there. You can see it in here, mixing in. And you can see that how much longer you have here. I will say the good thing about the Ninja Creamy is if you're if you're watching TV at night, this is something easy to use during commercials. Commercials last about three minutes, four minutes. And you can have ice cream during the commercial, mm -hmm. or gelato, <laughs> or smoothie, or sorbet, or milkshake. So almost done. Almost. Yeah. Okay. So push the button here, pull it out, push this button. And we've got our little mix in here. You can see how it mixed it in very nicely. And you can either put some in a bowl or you can eat it straight out of the... Okay, so here you come. Ready? <laughs> there you go, Bill. <laughs> what do you think? Mm. Yeah. Good. Oh my gosh. So that's how simple that is. We'll go back over here to the other place. And if I wanted to put some of that in a little bowl, uh, Debbie's getting more over there. Oh, she's going to put it in the freezer. Um, <clears throat> if you want to put some of that in a little bowl, like I said earlier, just put it in the freezer and then take it out a little bit, you know, like the next day or something, uh, warm it up just or just let it sit out for about 10 minutes or so and it should be eatable. Um, Putting that back in the freezer right now, and if I don't use that until tomorrow or some other day, all I do is I just put it right back in there under spit. And so you've got your ice cream. So you can take out what you want, put the rest, you would uh, make it flat as possible on the top and uh, put it back in the uh, freezer. Next time you want some, get it out, put it on spin again, or put it on ice cream again, and you're ready to go. So that's all there is to it. Any questions? Wow, that's that's a lot. Okay, let's see. Was it too um, somebody, loud? What'd you think about the loudness? It was a little bit loud. It was actually very interesting because um, I think the Zoom filtered out the noise. We couldn't hear it. Oh, you couldn't? Hmm. Not really, no. It kind of like muted it for whatever reason. It's about the same, I would say, if you're using an electric mixer, it's about that loudness. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. About the loudness of an electric mixer, hand mixer. Yeah. Uh, and I don't see anything else. I think it's, oh, it says, somebody says, I'm guessing it sounds like my Ninja Booty Blender. Oh, it might. Yeah, it, it, if it, if it's about the same as a as a electric hand mixer, it probably is. Um, I have a bullet. Jay uses a bullet, uh -huh. and it's about that something about that noisy. Okay, Debbie said she has a a ninja bullet or a yeah. not is it ninja uh, a, a bullet? Ninja. That's about that that noise level, yeah. but it's only and for then, a couple minutes. So it's not that bad, really. No. And then there's. Somebody who asked, um, what is the desired ratio of protein to calories? And you kind of answered that as far as 
what you had heard before. So this is not like, guys, we're we're not saying like always listen to your bariatric program, but obviously like if you're looking at calories versus um, protein in, in something, if you're wanting a good source of protein, basically what Kathy was saying is if, if you look at the amount of protein listed per serving and you add a zero, if it equals or is less than the total calories, then basically you would have a good source of protein. That's kind of what you were more, saying. Equal or more. Equal or more that. Equal you know, or more. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, uh, and the reason I look at that is, you know, your stomach is so much smaller and, and you need to get in your protein during, during the day's time. It's just so much easier to have a good source of protein uh, to, to get that. And, and that's just one good way that when I look at, um, uh, at things that say they are, um, uh, that say they are a good source of protein, they really aren't sometimes. Uh, but but that's marketing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. I think what you're getting too, um, Kathy, is more protein versus less sugar. Yes. A lot of yeah. A lot of your things are sh you know low sugar or zero sugar. Yeah. Yeah. And that's true because I think like after weight loss surgery for me, and I've heard other people say this too. Sometimes people will get like a little bit of a lactose intolerance. They're not able to tolerate with the ice cream. And also I think the sugar content of ice cream, like it literally, if I, I love, I, I loved ice cream before surgery, but let's see, if I eat it now, I should literally get sick. Uh -huh. Thank you. Because of the sugar content and the lactose issues. So, and I never had a problem with it before, but it's just, I guess how your body, your body could change a little bit possibly. I just noticed that on a, um, uh, there were four of us couples on a, on a cruise recently and, and, you know, you have all that food and, and I would get some ice cream and I got to the point where I couldn't, it, it was just too much. I, it, it really made me kind of not feel well. Yeah. Is there a okay. chat? Um, somebody, there was some questions about protein content, like daily protein content. And what I would say with that is, you know, every program is a little bit different. The ASMBS guidelines, which is stands for American Society for Metabolic and Bariatric Surgery, recommend a minimum of 60 grams of protein for anybody that's had a sleeve and bypass. And lap band would be pretty consistent with that as well. With, mm -hmm. with other surgeries, um, like a duodenal switch or a Sadie, you know, you're looking at probably more um, grams of protein and that would be, can be like 90 or more. Now I know Donna's mentioning that her program told her 90 later, 110 or 120. And I would say, follow whatever they tell you. It, you know, really that 60 is a minimum. And if you're doing physical activity, if you're doing like weightlifting or anything like that, then obviously, depending on your activity and things like that, it could be higher. And if you can tolerate more, that's great. There is a comment from Meredith. Would you like me to read it, Kathy? Or can you see um, it? I was able to pull it up. I found recipes to use my Ninja Foodie to make ice cream, but it's so much more complicated. And you make one mixture and refrigerate it, then you do a bunch of blending. Then, oh my gosh, get you the creamy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a... <laughs> Do you have a birthday coming up, Meredith? <laughs> or, a, or a Meredith day? How about just a Meredith day? <laughs> a me day? <laughs> I think uh, sometimes you can use, uh, if you still have Bed Bath & Beyond where you are, if if they still have those coupons, ours here in Tucson closed, but um, uh, you can get the, the coupons for 10 or 25% off. That helps too. Yeah. And around the holidays, you mentioned that that's always a great time to buy them too, because I've noticed that they do go on sale around Christmas. I mean, I've seen several sales last year. Oh yeah. Vanessa said she got hers from Kohl's with Kohl's cash. Mm -hmm. Oh my, you know, you're buying all those new clothes for your new size. You're getting, you're getting Kohl's cash building up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's adding up. That's awesome. Well, Kathy, I have a little recipe. Is it okay if I share that too? Sure. I'll just turn okay. it over to you. My part's done. Okay. I'm going to pull up. It is something our little ProCare team did because today is National Chocolate Day. 
who would have known, you know? Mm. <laughs> so I'm going to share um, a little recipe here. Let me, let me downsize for just a second here. And then I'm going to share my screen. Okay. And that was your presentation. Let me go to here. So it is a national ice cream day. And this little recipe is something from our ProCare team. So it is one cup of almond milk, one scoop of ProCare protein powder, vanilla or chocolate, one tablespoon of unsweetened cocoa powder. You can omit it if you have the vanilla, one packet of stevia if you'd like a little extra sweetness, and a fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And basically just pouring all the ingredients together and um, whisking it. You know, if you have a hand blender, those little things, the little blender that Kathy, the immersion blender that she talked about, those are super helpful. And then you pour it into ice cube trays and freeze until solid and then use a blender. Um, so you could probably use this same recipe, Kathy, wouldn't you think something similar uh -huh. yeah, to sure be able could. to use the Ninja? Yeah, you sure could. Um, you could, yeah, absolutely. And you can Would you say it. that holds about a cup? Like, or does it like, so some of this is not obviously this is going to make more than a cup because of the I, almond milk itself. I would say probably about fluffs up, maybe about two cups total. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it puts a little air in there as well. So I'd say maybe two cups, one and a half to two cups. Okay. Perfect. That's a nice and I'm serving, gonna, right? <laughs> yes. How much would you say liquid ingredients that you're putting in? Um, it just depends on, on what I'm doing. I will probably, um, where it says maximum fill line, I will, uh, if I'm just putting in flavorings, I will leave it about maybe an inch below the max fill line, add some flavoring, taste it, mix it, uh, taste it, and then, uh, then fill it up to the mix line, uh, to the maximum fill line, I mean. So it okay. just depends on what I'm making. Um, yeah. And I want to share too, you shared some of our ProCare um, vanilla and chocolate. So I'm going to jump on and actually show that here on the ProCare site. So if anybody is interested, ProCareNow.com. Um, ProCare is our sponsor for today. And under ProCare Health Products, we have proteins. And when you pop onto that site, you actually... Um, some of the very first protein products that are going to pull up on the site is our whey protein powder, chocolate and vanilla, which Kathy showed that she was using in some of her recipes. And so um, I pulled pulled that up here on a separate screen. Um, you can buy them in one serving packets. You can buy it in a tub of 30 servings or a tub of 15 servings. It comes in different quantities. And the good thing about this is, guys, you can actually mix this with milk or you can mix it with any kind of milk substitute like all the things that Kathy said like the soy milk the almond milk all of those things you can actually sorry about the pop-up um and you can make the consistency as much or little as you want so you can when mixing this you could make it shake consistency ice cream consistency you could make it um pudding consistency so there's a lot of different types depending on on what you have and here it is 110 cal calories with 26 grams of awesome. protein. So you, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Totally awesome. You know, I think Brenda, a, a, a point is, I think someone told me that with any protein powders, not to heat it over like 140 degrees. Is that correct? Or what happens? And you know, that's, I don't know what the exact temperature is, but I will tell you, we've made a lot of coffees like at previous retreats and things like that. So you're pouring it into hot. And what I've learned is if you don't have like a little immersion blender, um, it does clump because the whey will start baking and it'll get clumpy. So what I would recommend if you are making coffee with it, like a coffee, or if you're baking with it, if you mix it first with like a little bit of um, liquid water, that's more room temperature, mix it really well. It doesn't have to be a lot of liquid and then put it into your coffee or if you're baking, you know, use it more at room temperature before you put it into the like brownies or whatever you make, it can be a little bit more helpful. So yeah, the, so it doesn't, so you don't have the clumping. I've not heard it with the cold. I've not heard anything that it's 
a problem with making like the type of things you're talking about, like it's, the ice cream. It, no, and things. It's, it's not. I think it's just when you heat it, um, that the, the way broke break or the protein breaks down if it gets too hot. <clears throat> Can so, you go so back great to the question for this? Sure. I want to, I, I, I want to point something out. These liquid cells over here, these single serving packets, those are amazing. I take those on my mission trips with me because uh, I, I go to Guatemala and uh, on my mission trip and, and I'm not getting the protein I need there and I can't take my protein shake with me. So these are, are nice to have for, for if you just need some quick protein, not to, uh, you know, not to um, um, take the place of getting your protein, but if you think you're not getting it, those are great. What do you like to add yours to? Do you drink it straight up or uh -huh. do you mix it with something? Nope. I take the top off and I stick it in my mouth and empty it. <laughs> I've not tried. That's what I like to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many calories each one of those is. It probably says on that. Oh, uh, they're a hundred. So 100? they're pretty so good. Yeah. So it's a great source of protein, six grams of protein and a hundred calories. Okay, and there is some comments here coming in. Okay. Yeah, 141 degrees, it says max temp for powder. So that could be, it could be Procares. I'm just not as sure. We, I actually, we have a blog on that on her blog page, which I can try to find before we get off. But um, there is some research that we've done on that. And it says that's, Meredith saying, yes, that's what they do at the smoothie place I go to. They make protein cocoa and they mix the protein powder with room temperature uh, milk first that hand blend and add the hot milk. So um, so that is what is recommended. Also, some, the question is, what kind of electrolytes do you have? Do they have salt or anything else as a salt supplement? So the protein powder that we just showed you actually has electrolytes in them. And you would not have to add extra, but if you're asking if ProCare Health has electrolytes on their own, we do not. Um, but they do have some sodium in it. So I think sodium, potassium, let's go back to the proteins. Whoops. Sometimes this is a little slow. I, whenever I we're here. Your, your caramel, your, um, your calcium. I love those. <laughs> do you? Squares. Oh, I use them all the time. Three a day. <laughs> what what is your favorites? The calcium sea salted caramel. Um, my husband likes the mint, so I just buy the mint for him, and I buy the other uh, three flavor or the other two flavors for myself. The uh, the um, oh, it's the the sea salt and the caramel or something like that. Uh, breakfast roll or something like that. But yeah. And so what Kathy is talking about here, and to answer the question about the electrolytes, unfortunately, I can't pull the back up. I actually have a bag here. I will grab real quick. I'm going to go off for just a second. And it looks like uh, they have sodium, potassium, chloride, zinc, magnesium all in there. So can't probably see it because it might stick. So that's the chocolate and the vanilla. And then um, Kathy mentioned the calcium supplements, which I'll pull up real quick and show too as well. So she's talking about these here, which is the soft calcium chews. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I do the cinnamon roll and the caramel and my, my husband likes the dinner mint better. So we- Yeah, can... it's interesting. There's always a different preference with everybody, right? And I just got a sample of the mocktails and those were pretty good. Those were really <laughs> good. Yeah, so I may have to switch it up a little bit. We, we may have to get you some of those to try. <laughs> well, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. In okay. closing, is there anything, anything you want to say as a closing thought, Kathy? No, just thank you for for hanging in there and listening and and uh, you know I hope that you know you can uh, get a, a ninja creamy and and use it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So it, it's just easy to do and and uh, it's just a never ending um, 
process of, of experimentation and, and having something cold. So enjoy. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank you. you. I can't wait to try us. mine. <laughs> oh, you got one? No, I want to I, I want to get one and try it because it looks okay. so good. I've been wanting one for about a year now. I just need to go on and make the purchase, right? Just do it. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, everybody have a great evening or afternoon, wherever you're at, depending on where you're at. And we thank you for joining us. And Kathy, thank you and your friend for joining us. And yes. <laughs> so everybody take care. Have a great evening. And We'll see you on the next episode of Very Connected. Thank you all. Bye.